Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steven Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the film Species. Now, I took the time uh, the last few days and I've been to watch this trilogy. And I know there's actually four films in the franchise, but we won't be talking about that fourth film. Not at all. Um, and so, with that... Let's get right into this first movie. Uh, Species was released on July 7th, 1995. It is a sci-fi thriller film that has a 5.9 out of 10 on IMDb, a 42% on Rotten Tomatoes, and uh, famed critic Roger Ebert gave it 2 out of 4 stars. It had a $35 million budget and it made $113.3 million at the box office. Uh, the movie was directed by Roger Donaldson and stars Natasha Enstridge, uh, Ben Kingsley, Michael Madsen, and Marg Helgenberger. In this movie, we have a scientist, Xavier, played by Ben Kingsley, uh, who intercepts a space transmission uh, containing the genetic uh, sequence of uh, an alien and the alien being uh, Natasha Henstridge. Uh, so uh, he uses it to produce her, and it's Syl is her, is her name. Um, and eventually she becomes full-grown so fast, and she eventually breaks out and wants to try and find a mate and basically take over the world uh, by creating more aliens like herself. Um, I can't believe I've never watched this, uh, franchise before. And I'd say, Ralph Ann, this is no alien by any stretch of the imagination, but this is a decent, uh, trilogy. I'm, like I said, I'm not counting that fourth movie. That's a standalone movie that it's garbage. We ain't talking about that. But as, as far as the trilogy goes, it's actually really decent. And, uh, I like the characters, the casting, uh, the look of the alien, the alien, the transformation, uh, it's fantastic. Um, I will say, though, if you're not a fan of nudity, uh, you may not want to watch this. There's a lot of female nudity in the trilogy. That aside, though, I, I still think this is a solid franchise. Um, I did enjoy the first movie. I gave it, uh, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So let's go. Uh, to the second movie, um, again, you know, it's more of the same, uh, only this time you have uh, a male counterpart who is trying to get to uh, Eve, who is now uh, portrayed by Natasha Hentress. Uh In this movie, she uh, is playing a different character, obviously, she's playing Eve, Um and there's a guy that's trying to meet with her, another alien. And uh, so you have Dr. Baker, played by Mark Helgenberger, along with a few of the remaining characters from the previous movie, uh, trying to stop both of them from mating. Uh, Species 2 was released on April 10th, 1998. It's a sci-fi thriller. On Cinema Score, it has an average grade of a C. It has a 4.5 out of 10 on IMDb and a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, the movie had a $3.5 million budget. It made $26.8 million at the box office and was directed by um, Peter uh, Medic. And like I said, it stars Natasha Hendridge, Michael Madsen, and uh, uh, Mark Helgenberger. And uh, I have to say, I actually like this one a little bit more than the original. Uh, I never pay attention to what uh, Rotten Tomatoes says. I, you can't trust those guys. You can't trust them. You know, watch what you watch and you like what you like. And uh, I like this one a little bit more than the original. And I like the characters, I like the story, and the whole thing of them trying to, uh, the two aliens trying to get together to mate. It's just, it's it's really fascinating. Um. So I did enjoy this one a little bit more. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 
And then finally, the conclusion of the trilogy, we have Species 3. It was released on November 27th, 2004. It was a made-for-TV movie. It's a sci-fi thriller. has a 4.2 out of 10 on IMDb and a 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. So Rotten Tomatoes favored this one a little bit more than the previous one. Um, uh, this movie stars uh, Robin Dunn. Uh, Robert Nepper and Natasha Hentress has a cameo in this movie. I'm not going to spoil anything about that. Uh, it was directed by Brad Turner. And uh, this is basically uh, the conclusion of the story where the half-breeds are dying off. They're aging. And there's one alien that is a full-bred alien. And they're trying to mate with her to uh, continue the species. But she senses that uh, that they're dying off and she refuses to mate with them. So now they're trying to track her down and uh, get to it. And uh, there's a couple of college students who help her along the way. And uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was a nice conclusion to the story. Uh, not quite as good as the previous works, but still a fulfilling conclusion. I gave Species 3 a 7 out of 10. So, um, overall, this was a very fine trilogy. There was a, another TV standalone movie made, Species, The Awakening. It was complete garbage. It was a snooze fest. I got about halfway through the movie and I had to turn it off. It, 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 was, it was really boring. Uh, I wish I just would have left well enough alone. And, uh, yeah, this was a fine uh, trilogy to watch. Like I said, I watched it all one day. They're not that long of movies, and the pacing's really fast. And, uh, yeah, you just zip right through them. But with that, though, uh, uh, average grade, you know, I'm torn, but I would say... If you combine the scores, the average grade is an 8, which is fitting. Uh, but like I said, I like the second movie a little bit better than the first. But overall, this was a fine trilogy. So in the comment section below, if you haven't seen Species, check out the trilogy. I think you'll be very entertained. Some of you may not like it. Some of you might think it's stupid. But for me personally, I think it was really good. And like I said... Don't go into this uh, trilogy expecting Alien. You're not going to get that. But this was a fun uh, fun time, and uh, definitely check them out. Uh, and uh, Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, and if you like this uh, review, hit that like button. But stay tuned for many more movie reviews. I'm going to be reviewing the films uh, Totally Killer and The Burial, uh, both new movies on Amazon Prime. So look forward to those reviews and many more, and I'll see you.